Here we are in one of probably the most famous warehouses in the whole of the Scotch whisky industry. This is the famous vaults at Bowmore Distillery and today we're going to taste um, Bowmore Mariner which is a product that is currently available in the, the tax-free or duty-free markets. For that reason it's at 43% and you can see that the bottle here is slightly bigger, it's at one litre in size. Bowmore Mariner is 15 years old. Unlike the domestic product, which is darkest, which is a wood finish, 15-year-old Mariner is different. This is a marriage of North American oak casks, European oak casks, where we mature the whisky for about 15 years, and then we bring these together, marry them up for about six to eight months together, and we produce this end product, which is called Mariner. Now, obviously, Bowmore is a, a, a malt whisky that, that is distilled right beside the Atlantic Ocean. And we have this name here, which is Bowmore Mariner, which gives you an indication that it is a maritime or seaside malt. This is perhaps my favourite of all the Bowmores. What I like about this is that you can see all the characters of, um, I think, the town of Bowmore in it. If you come down into Bowmore, particularly when the kilns are burning here at the distillery, you smell that smokiness in the air. If the seas are rough and the wind is blowing, you can smell that Atlantic swell and some of the saltiness in the air. Um, and I think these are all characters that are very, very evident here in this Bowmore Mariner. Give it a spin in the glass, you'll see that the colour here is lighter than the darkest. That's because it is a marriage rather than a maturation uh, or finishing in European oak. So here we have 15 years bourbon, 15 years sherry brought together to give you this perfect harmony and balance of flavour. When you bring that up to the nose, because of the presence of some sherry casks in that maturation, your first nose is of some dark fruitiness. Then comes through some sweet vanilla, especially if you add some water to this, it will bring out a lot more of the sweetness to it. But the, the dominant flavours I get here really are the smokiness that is typical of Bowmore and also some of that saltiness, um, which is a, a hard flavour to explain on the nose, but very easy to explain on the palate. When you taste this, at first you get some of the sweetness of North American oak. You then get a little bit of that dryness from the European oak. But the distinct thing about this is the big saltiness and that smokiness that just sit and settle on the middle of the palate. And to me, if you ask me, you know, what is your perfect day in Bowmore, for me, it would be a glass of 15-year-old mariner sitting by the seawall.